I'm Caroline. I'm going to read you a story today. Let's see which one's in the basket. Uh, today's book was requested, so hopefully you enjoy it. It's called Rumble in the Jungle and it's written by Giles, Andre and David Watochik. There's a rumble in the jungle, there's a whisper in the trees. The animals are waking up and rustling the leaves. The hippos at the waterhole, the leopards in his lair. The chimpanzees are chattering and swinging everywhere. Some animals are frightening and some are sweet and kind. So let's go to the jungle now and see who we can find. It's great to be a chimpanzee swinging through the trees. And if we can't find nuts to eat, we munch on each other's fleas. The lion's the king of the jungle, who quietly sits on his paws. But everyone quivers and shudders and shivers as soon as he opens his jaws. It's great to be an elephant all big and fat and round, and wander through the jungle, just elephing around. I could have been grey like a donkey, or brown like my cousin the mule, but instead I've got stripes which my lady friend likes, since they make me look handsome and cool. The boa constrictor is a slippery snake who squashes then swallows his prey. He knows that it's not very friendly or kind, but they do taste much better that way. Some animals laugh at the gangly giraffe, but I hold my head up and feel proud. I really don't care when my head's in the air and my cheeks getting kissed by a cloud. Hello, I'm a big happy hippo. I sleep in the sun till I'm hot. And when I'm not sleeping, I mooch in the mud, which hippos like doing a lot. When animals come to the river to drink, I watch for a minute or two. It's such a delight to behold such a sight that I can't resist chomping a few. The ravenous rhino is big, strong and tough, but his skin is all baggy and flappy, which means that there's plenty of room for his lunch, and that makes him terribly happy. No one can run half as quickly as me, the galloping gorgeous gazelle. I can leap up so high that my horns touch the sky and I'm awfully pretty as well. The gorilla is big, black and hairy and the thing that he likes to do best is to look all ferocious and scary and wallop his giant great chest. If you meet a hungry leopard prowling through the night, make sure you call him sir and be terribly polite. Beware of the terrible tiger, you don't always know when he's near, but his eyes shine like lights in the blackest of nights and his growl makes you tremble with fear. The night has started falling, but the jungle never sleeps. The vultures circle slowly, while the leopard softly creeps. And if you listen quietly, you might just hear the growl of a hungry pair of panthers who are still out on the prowl. The lions and their little cubs are sleeping in their den. So let's leave them till tomorrow, when we'll visit them again. Hope you enjoyed that story. Please leave comments, like and subscribe to my channel for more. See you next time. Bye.